What's going on everybody? Welcome to this mini series between snow and action. I was taking a look at some of the replays that were posted in the seawall.gg discord by dude nerd and I saw action. I saw snow. Y'all know I'm a big fan of snow and I saw Troy and I knew that this was something that I'd have to cast immediately. This was played on March 4th on the ladder. March 4th of 2024. Let me be clear. These are hot, fresh off the ladder, guys. Right here in the midst of ASL, these two guys, these two behemoths meeting up on the ladder. I bet they both just shot bolt upright in their seats after playing a bunch of ladder barcodes and that they meet one of their fellow ASL contestants and you know it's time to throw down here on Troy so grab yourself a drink sit back relax it's time for your daily dose of brood war we're jumping right into this one we've got action grabbing a 12 hatchery 11 hatchery here that is surprising now guys on Troy, I guess at the highest level, it might be different, but at my level in B rank, where I'm at right now, we almost always see a double gate. And look at that double gate here at the front. It's not like a 9 9 gate or something like that. This is a much more conservative double gate. It's not quite as aggressive, but. There's still going to be a lot of zealots coming across the map here. And if you lose control of your natural, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Because the zealots can just easily stand right here. If he gets two zealots right there. And then starts to kill your assimilators. Oh boy. You are in for a world of hurt. So we're going to have snow sending these first few zealots across. He's even brought two probes here. That's how you know he's serious. I'm going to build a pylon. This is what a lot of Protoss players will do with the two gate play as well. Build a pylon here and then they drop a... Oh my gosh, is he actually going to get that? Oh, that's so close. Doesn't quite get it. They'll drop a shield battery here in your natural and just try to uh, beat you with these zealots. Eventually get into this position and block you out. Looks like action trying to get a sunken down. He finally gets one down. It was being blocked there for quite some time. A second sunken almost comes down as well, but he's not able to get that either. Oh, this is getting pretty dangerous. Action going to pop eight lings all at the same time. He focuses down a probe. Second probe gets focused as well. That is big. Getting rid of those probes is pretty impactful here. The Zealots are going to do much, much worse without the probe support. Great job surrounding and killing that. Like the one that sunken will go down really quick. Oh my god, it took a long time to actually finish that off. And in the meantime, a great hold here from action with the uh, drones getting on top of all of that. Managing to block the zealots from actually attacking at all for quite some time. He's going to be able to get some shields back here, but this shield battery is not going to be worth in the end. Well, I don't know who is going to come out on top of this actually. Pretty big investment for Snow to go for. Uh, the uh, shield battery and everything. But we built three sunken colonies, guys. Three sunkens and, and a huge amount of lings, by the way. A huge amount of lings. Look at how few drones we have right now. We've got 12. 12 total drones. And behind this, it's totally possible for Snow to just wall. He could just sit here in a wall. There we go. I don't think you can get in there. Oh, what? Snow, how did you let those by? Are you kidding me? That is insanity. The fact that Snow didn't have one zealot parked right there on hold position is ridiculous to me right now. It is funny to see how pro players can sometimes make the silliest of errors. Despite being at such a high level and playing you know, so fantastically for most of the game, making that mistake. Look at that micro almost getting the Ling there as it's trying to run by body blocking the heck out of it. 
He's gonna maybe finish it off with the probe here. Oh, I think he's got it. I think he's got it. He does. He do got it. Picks it off. He does do got it. All right. Double sunken here still. Luckily, these sunkens aren't blocking. If this sunken had been the one to finish, and maybe this one got picked off or this one got picked off, that would have been really annoying having that sunken in your mineral line. It's easier to defend. It's easier to, you know, mineral walk over this sunken colony and get uh, the, the block on the, the zealots there, but it is going to really hinder you in terms of your mining a little bit later on. Now, we are even in overall worker count now, so Action's done a really good job of bringing this one back. After taking some early damage, he's going to go ahead and snag his third base, although Snow already has his natural up. So having that Nexus down with a Stargate on the way here, I think he's going to be able to get across the map with a first Corsair and, and deal some reasonable damage here. Maybe pick off a couple of Overlords. It's very difficult to figure out like where you are at. Uh, in terms of the timings here as the Zerg player, like we're at 6 minutes 24. Do we really have enough time to finish a Spire before the Corsair gets there? It's so hard to tell. It's really, really hard to tell. And a probe going to make its way down here to the bottom right. He will see that assimilators are being killed down here. And so, you know, can uh, make a mental note of that there. Realize that you know, uh, action is setting up for a later game here. He's going to ha have an island base in the bottom right. Trying not to lock any of his lings uh, out of the map. Bunch of zealots going to make their way over here to the natural. That's quite a few zealots, but two sunken colonies going to be enough to push everything away. We'll be safe here for now. Evo chamber. Funnily placed Evo chamber. Placing it right there. Maybe making it so it's not easier, easy enough to run uh, by here. Oh, great block there. By Snow. Oh, a great block with the Dragoon too. That is an unreal block there, actually. That block is crazy, crazy good. Not allowing the links there into the main. And he will see that the Spire is done. So look at that. Spire is on time. Throwing down the Spire at 6 minute 30 is actually okay here somehow um and action knew it i guess i guess he knew because he got the ling in the main he must have seen that like how far along we were in terms of that tech and ugh, i i it's honestly inexplicable to me very very hard to tell your position from these early kind of crazy game states but really action on another level he knows exactly what to do from here. Has the Scourge out in time. He's killing off uh, assimilators all over. Blocking up these bases, making more islands. Really well done by him. Unfortunately, he didn't transfer any drones to this base, but it's fine. You know, that Zealot attack that just came out, um, or the potential of that Zealot attack, it could have gone down here to deny the space. Had he not done that so good on him to get rid of that those assimilators to make that an island and what are we gonna have here from snow to follow up it looks like just more a uh, regular play here lots of corsairs zealots with movement speed i was wondering if you we were gonna go into reaver corsair here but looks like not not gonna be the case this time and I mean, I guess that's fine. Should be okay here. It's just, it'll be hard to break any of these, like, island bases. This base, this base. These are almost free right now. It's almost necessary to break in here. And I think that action is just going to turtle this position like crazy. You can see him already getting spores, sunkins, more coming down here at the front. He might even put more down here, make it really hard for Snow to break in because... What he's seeing is a Protoss player building a ground army and, well, the ground army can't get over there to the, uh, to those islands, so there's only one place to attack. They both know it, and action is preparing for it. More gates finally coming online here for Snow, who's managed to crank out 48 probes at this point. 
to just the 37 of action but action having quite a few bases here he's already on four bases which is very early like very quick it's not early because this is kind of a weird game that took a very awkward turn but having four bases out already and the protoss is just sitting here you know making units on two base this is early this is very strong right now for action he's not fully saturated or anything at these bases but he's getting there slowly but surely adding on those drones at each of these bases he won't really be able to macro from these areas with um hydra if that's what he pl is planning to make that's so many sunkens oh my goodness there's the hydra den finally here at the front that is so many sunkens guys it's it's looking crazy look at that snow gets up that ramp and he's like okay we're not going anywhere never mind time for plan b here what is plan b we can't even get dragoons out of this i don't think this is a no dra this is not a dragoon sized hole there i don't think he did get this dragoon out so i wonder how he did that maybe walk around this way but that seems terribly inefficient terribly inefficient so we'll see what he ends up doing we could end up coming and taking this base snow could snow could come over here and take this we get that up as his third looks like he's instead gonna take this high ground over here which unfortunately this was killed i think by action potentially i believe it was action who killed that so he can't get a free base in the top right hand corner but he might be able to hold on to this one right here got zealots running around the map just checking things out muta's flying northward they might be able to come over here and deny this base in the top right but for now action i don't think he's really too concerned about that i would i think he will be going to hive soon i have to imagine that is a lot of scourge wow so many scourge flying through the air right now kind of what you have to do against the mass corsair play from snow if you actually want to fight in the air rather than just going fully into hydraless production it's um it's gonna require a huge just a massive number of scourge so looks like some probes being transferred in here getting harassed a bit by action action gonna try and sneak around the side here maybe grab some more probes but an archon going to follow them out over here to this third so he does have good saturation there now at 49 workers you can put forth quite a large protoss army at this point so actually we'll have to be careful could still get broken on this high ground that's a lot of sunken i know but you have to be careful you gotta have lots of units here as well he does have quite a sizable number of hydra but it's not like you can't get up this high ground and start to deal damage like full damage with no mischance with your dragoons if you get up here and start hitting these sunkins you might be able to break through there it wouldn't be fun and it would not be efficient but it might be possible still i think action has too much mining at this point if you take a really inefficient fight even if you start to break this i think you're going to end up getting surrounded although by where from where because there's no rallies that can come from the back Maybe you just sit here and skirmish him. Well, never mind that. We're going to have a big army flying into the main base here. Ogre Zerg Gamer action. Diving onto the main base. Going to do his best to kill off all those cannons. Here comes some Dragoons to save the day. Dragoon plus Corsair. Oh, Corsair. Oh my gosh storm on top of the corsairs there but he will push everything back pretty nicely done storm really saving the day here corsairs that's a lot of scourge can he actually save these scourge looking for those connections but they haven't been able to find it just yet being very tentative here with the uh, Corsairs not wanting to take any losses right now. He really needs that high count of Corsair. 
He'll be able to fight all of the mutas that have been fielded by action so far. Snow meeting up with the army here in the middle. This is not a very robust army. Not a very big army just yet. We do have quite a few more hydras coming out here, but storms are going to come down on a lot of this. Action taking kind of a rough trade here, but... He will push through with the number of hydras he's got here. He may be able to snipe a few Templar on the retreat. Yeah, no energy for storms here. And it looks like everything's going to have to fall back. The Corsairs hiding over here on high ground. Some more storms coming out. Some more Templar making their way onto the field. We don't have any Templar over here, though. And this might get broken. There's only four cannons on high ground. Archon can't make it to the front. Zealot going to be here taking a bit of damage but this archon i don't think it's gonna last long very nicely done with the mutas adding on their damage as well it's gonna fall very very fast this base going down could spell the end for snow snow losing control of this game of this base at the same time looks like a shuttle coming over here it's got nothing in it though was taken out zealots making their way up here dt as well dt gonna be helping out quite a bit Snow actually has quite a bit of money right now, but he really needs to throw down a bunch of cannons up here on high ground. Finally, a storm does come down on these hydras, and it looks like Snow will hold for now, but this is an incredibly tight hold, and Action is spraying out units right now. He has so many units coming out. He's utilizing these island bases to just keep pumping uh, mutas as well. A lot of mutas coming out here, and he's going to run forward. Start to snipe some of these Templar. Templar going down en masse. Losing control of his natural now. Snow going to have to rotate back through the middle of the map. And that's going to leave opportunities here for action to continuously snipe Templar. Oh man, the Mutas do go down. But uh, the Corsairs are falling as well. And there's the Mutas swinging around. Once again, so much stuff here for action. What an insane game on Troy guys but it really feels like action has some good ideas here he has some good uh, fundamentals and understanding of this game to where he can really abuse this map appropriately DT coming in not gonna be enough we do have storm over here with some cannon but losing this natural is unforgivable at this point we're at 25 probes remaining and action is just continuing to grow on the map sending more and more hydras out right now he doesn't really need any more drones at the moment he's just going to continue to shove in here mutal this micro picking off some templar gg is finally called snow taps out but a great first game here on troy to start us off Wow, I can't wait to see this next one, guys. I am really surprised at how well we saw action do here. And also the fact that we didn't see Snow go for, like, Corsair Reaver. Why did he not go Corsair Reaver? I feel like he pigeonholed himself really, really hard in this game. Because, because action killed these, he has this island. He killed these, and he has this island. With a ground army... You can only attack this. That is it. That is your only choice. And so Snow kind of... He, he set himself up for this bad situation where he didn't have anywhere to attack. And he's struggling to hold on to another base here. Just huge macro from action. And it, the extra income from these other bases means he's able to easily overwhelm. And Snow's going to have to go into this next game with a new game plan. I hope it's not going to be on Troy. I'm not sure if it's on Troy or not. Let's jump into that next game. Okay, game number two. Not going to be on Troy, thank God. It's fun to watch a couple of games on there every now and then. But I do want to see these two, how they're matching up on a normal map here. And a normal map it is, Radeon. One of the great maps that we've got in this current season. Definitely one of my favorites to play on. Uh, Citadel is alright too. Not a huge fan of 
that map, but it's all right. Yeah, it's okay. It gives us some pretty interesting games, and I've had some pretty good games on there myself as well. So this map is definitely a gem. Thank you to AMD for making this one. Radeon. A great title for a map as well as a computer chip. We've got action here. We go ahead and snag a 10 pool. Was that what we're looking at here? Nine pool with an extractor trick to get an extra drone out. He's going to use this to scout. Find out what Snow's up to. And look at that. Snow's going to see the drone scout coming. And action is still going to scout. I think it's going to ch slightly alter here to send to top right. And his overlord will find the natural here very, very soon. Now, he, with this build, he can pop six slings if he wants right off the bat. He's going to pop four. Let's see if he goes to six. He does go to six. Six slings on the way here. So he can actually put on quite a lot of pressure. Wow. Snow being really annoying with this probe, man. He is being super, super annoying here, and he's just about got it, actually. I think we'll leave one Ling to chase this. I think so. It would be kind of crazy not to even leave or to, to send one Ling after this when Snow is doing so much harassment with that. And he will. Now the probe not going to be able to do uh, any harassment here and get any kills in the main, at least. But we only have five lings coming across, and Snow's already got the wall here. He's going to try and attack the probe. Oh, God, that's so annoying. You see that? The two lings there, they're like... What's it called? Like a Dumb and Dumber... Not Beavis and Butthead. I'm trying to think of, like, uh, the Three Stooges, where the both of them try to get through the door at the same time, and they end up getting stuck. They're like body blocking each other trying to fit through the same door at the same time they got stuck there weren't able to jump on that probe and actually pick it off to make a run by happen yes yeah, snow did not have that on a hold position command so it backed up a little bit and if only those if those links had just managed to run a little bit farther forward maybe you could have just ran right by that so really frustrating stuff there for action to start this one off but he will track down this probe eventually and he should have his third base online. It's not the great greatest spot, though. We have been hindered by this opener, for sure. You know, last game, he went for that 11 hatch. Which is about as greedy of an opener as you can do. It's not super greedy, obviously, as a Zerg player. But it's like... It's relatively greedy. That's going to give you the best eco economic... It's basically the best economic opener that you can do. And what he's done here is certainly not. It's not a great economic opener. It's not going to give him a great follow-up position. So he's, as you can see, he's going to be building a Hydralis then. So Hydralis are going to be out here. It does give him a lot of map control because he's got all these lings out. He can deny the probe for quite a long time. He's getting in here. He sees the timing of the Stargate. And he has Hydralis on the way now. Hydralis speed is coming here. We're at like 9.5 and none. So maybe 9.73, a little bit far off. Still needs to add a few more drones if that's the plan. We have three Hydralis on the way. I think he's identified that this Stargate is pretty darn fast. And he might not be able to get over here in time to surprise snow if he waits for 973 i'm not sure Ooh, snow making a bit of an error there finally does get caught with the probe now the links can be sent to the front and with the overlord here at the natural he knows that there's nothing out on the map right now so snow is blind but his little st his little telescope here I'm gonna grant him vision shortly and you know I think this is just gonna be a macro play out of action 
As you can see, he leaves one Hydra back at home. To me, I think if if I'm doing a, like a fake Hydra bust, we definitely leave one Hydra back at home. Because if we're doing a full on Hydra bust, we need all of our Hydras there. We need all of our Hydras at the front. Oh, did that actually finish? No, he had to cancel. All right, this is a great pick off here. Getting that is fantastic. If I'm doing a Hydra bust, I send all my Hydras to the front because I know that there's going to be more Hydras coming. Hydras, more Hydras are gonna pop out and they're gonna be able to save the Overlords. But if we're not doing a full on Hydra bust, we need to leave some Hydra back at home to make sure that we don't lose a bunch of Overlords here. Now, the Citadel is just now on the way. We've got plus one restarted here in the main. That's going to be coming online soon. But in the meantime, Hatcheries and Evolution Chamber is coming up here for action as he drones through this position. Did get the threat, threaten. Did manage to threaten the Hydralis bus, but with three cannons here, the minimum amount of defense, I would say, from Snow. Absolute minimum when you see something like this. I think he's going to be okay. Snow's fine here. Everything going to be pretty well evened up. Since we did have kind of a low eco opener here from action. And a Hydra bust. With the redroning now. But losing the upgrades. I would say we're about even here. This should be a good game. Let's see what this follow up is going to be from Snow. We got four, five, six gateways now. A lot of zealots popping out. And Action is going to be preparing to gear up his Hydralisk army once again. This is a pretty good spot here where you can hide your Hydras. Oh, running up. He's killing two cannon. Wait. Why are we killing cannon right now? This is a little bit surprising. Ah, okay. Action. Gonna go for one of these follow-up Hydralisk bus where you're not going to switch into a full macro play. You're just gonna rest for a little bit get out enough hydra out and then try to shove in before nine minutes nine minutes is usually your storm timing here looks like some overlords are gonna die unfortunately and that will supply block action so he won't be able to produce any more hydras for a little bit but he might be able to break in here before then oh zealot speed finished up just then right at that moment and a lot of these Hydras are going to end up going down. So pretty good micro here from Action. Kind of dragging these back. But he lost a lot of his Hydra. Going to try to shove in here. This is a lot of low HP Zealots. But he's not going to risk it. Instead backing off. Now, I question whether Action can bring this into a normal game from here. This has become pretty strange. We're at 33 drones. We've lost Overlords. We don't have Overlord speed. We can't break. We can't break. If there's one DT here, we lose. So this is very curious to be seeing action trying to break through here. See, starts one DT. As soon as that DT comes out, this push is held, by the way. So action actually going to back off. Adding on more drones back at home. He actually, he needs overlord speed. Why are we not getting overlord speed? This is so late. DT could come over here and end our entire, just, just end us here. Well, he's only got one Corsair, so maybe he can't execute all of the overlords and you know, get in there with the DT, try to get a bunch of kills, but maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Seven Mutalists on the way. He sees that there's only one Corsair left. Action responds with seven mutas. We do have Corsairs still building, but when this when this move out comes, things are gonna get a little bit hectic here. Pressing the wrong button there. Photon cannons coming up. I think he might have seen the mutas. Did he actually see them? Uh, it looks like the Corsair got picked off. Mutas on the field. The DT gonna spot that. DT gonna be sent up towards this potential fourth base here we still don't have overlord speed this is a huge mistake from action he's gonna dive in to the main base here we've got some storms we've got some 
Corsairs. Dragoons are popping out as well. Great response here from Snow. This base could end up going down here. Honestly, this DT, if this DT comes over here and starts hitting this, we could end up losing this base because Overlords are way too slow to make their way over here. Finally, Overlord speed coming down. We've got the Kyhydrin Amulet. Kyhydrin Ky Amulet? Kadrian? K Kadarin? 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 K Kadarin. Kadarin. Um, Kadarin. I have no idea how to say that. If it wasn't abundantly apparent already. DT gonna start hitting this. This is exactly what I was talking about. You need overlord speed, man. This is bad news. We can't do anything about this. Get that overlord over there. Oh my gosh. We actually gonna lose this? No way we lose this, right? Oh, this is so frustrating for a Zerg player, a fellow Zerg player to witness. He will just barely save it. Oh my God, 160 HP. That is wild. It is wild to me that we're 12 minutes in and he doesn't have overlord speed. Act absolutely insane because you just can't avoid things like this. They're always going to be happening. It's just so standard for the Protoss to get a... DT out on the map and just start harassing your bases. And he might, you know, run like two zealots around and try to snipe this as well. That absolutely could be a thing. So we'll see what action has to handle that. He's got to be very careful. DT could slip out at any time here. It's like trying to break into this base, but Storm immediately. Good dodge there by action, though. He's simultaneously trying to harass some probes here and looks like he might have killed a few. We come back in and start to kill a few more. Good dodge against that storm there, but a lot of these mutas are low, so needing to be careful. 11 mutas has a lot of utility in a situation like this when there are Templar walking across the map. Sniping them becomes a real option in action. Actually, ahead in supply by quite a lot here over Snow. Snow going to have to react really quickly to this push across the bridges. And storms could come down, but really good snipe there. Picking off one of the Templar. Oh, a really good storm there to fend off these mutas, but he loses another Templar. Only six mutas remain. Cannons being thrown down over here. Action going to come in once again. Here we go. Another poke, another prod here from Action. Snow going to react to that, but the army, the big army coming in right now is undeniable this is so many hydras right now that's a lot of dragoon but the arc is not that great dragoons getting picked off here some pretty decent storms on some of these but the dragoon army is really starting to fall here action pushing forward snow on the retreat here he can't be losing all these dragoons he needs that resupply of zealot to make its way to the front line to body block for this and finally it does make its way out here but there's even more hydras here to contend with this dragoons are getting some decent damage while the zealots body block but as the zealots run out again the dragoons will be forced back lots of zealots and templar on the way out right now but not enough not ready in time to stop this and I'm really worried for Snow here. Action just about to bowl him over. Nine more Hydras on the way. Zealots are going to run out on the map, it looks like. Maybe he can run by and try to kill this base. That might be a, a possibility, but Action not even worried about that base. He's just concerned with killing this Protoss player right now. Let's see if he can get in here and get the job done. Templar coming out. No, the Templar getting caught right now by this small group of Hydra. Beautifully done. That is, I think, the killing blow there. Action. Catching Snow off guard. Catching his Templar. Playing a brilliant game from behind here. From a deficit in that early game. You saw that he went for a very early pool. He tried to get by the run by here, but the stupid, zeal or the stupid zerglings there... Three Stooges, Zerglings, trying to jump through that little doorway, both at the same time, didn't allow that run by to occur. He went for the Hydra's Bust, it didn't work, he followed up with some beautiful macro play. 
hung on against everything and managed to take this victory on three base, no less. Didn't even need this fourth base. Not a single mineral has been mined up here. And he managed to push through and end Snow. This didn't seem like a very greedy third base from Snow. It wasn't crazy greedy or anything. But Action was able to shut it down. Really well played by him. Absolute terror, this macro Zerg player. Can't wait to see if we get any Snow versus Action games in the ASL, guys. That's it for today's Daily Dose of Brood War, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.